unexplained metal monolith, right? Am I saying that right? Monolith yes. discovered in a remote area of Utah's Red Rock country. So apparently they were doing a, uh, let's see, on, on <clears throat> November 18th, the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources, along with the uh, Department of Public Safety, were doing a mission to conduct a big horn, sh- where they were, let's just conduct a count of big horn sheep in a portion of Southeast Utah. They stumbled across a 10 foot metal column before size. The surface is shiny, but uh, doesn't appear to be reflective. I'm going to hold off on reading what happens later on in the article because you two uh, love your paranormal, love your aliens, love your otherworldly stuff. Go ahead, dive in. So they found this, uh, this metal thing jammed into the ground in Utah. Yeah, I mean, it, okay, I'm not instantly going to aliens, but, but they don't know how long it's been there, and it apparently weighs a shit ton, and it's apparently like – rooted like 10 feet into the ground and yet stands 15 feet tall and it's in the one of the most remote canyons and they don't want to tell you where it is because it's so treacherous to get to it they don't want to let people know where it is uh just in case people try to go down and take their picture next to it because then they're gonna have to go in fly in and uh try to get them out of there because they won't be able to to leave without a helicopter (laughs) okay i'm not going straight to aliens or paranormal bullshit okay but, but how, how, is it, okay. how, so everything in here, we're almost 100% sure this is an installation attempt of some kind. U.S. Department of Public Safety spokesperson, Lieutenant Nick Street told USA, to, USA Today, not an attempt. They successfully installed it in the Red Rock in Southeast Utah. So he's they, uh, I think it, they go on to say it's stainless steel. It's put together with pipe rivets. Uh, that kind of says it was. Uh, wait a minute. That kind of says it was definitely put together by humans. As far as the timeline, for all we know, it could have been placed there 50, 60 years ago. And because of the material it's made out of, hasn't weathered. Uh, it is meant not to. It's definitely an interesting installation. So th- even the experts deemed anyway. Otherwise, have said uh, you know some some jack wagons put it down there. They said possibly human. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. An installation of what? It's a motherfucking metal triangle. Like. So what, definitely alien then, right? Well, definitely not fucking normal. I mean, what do you <laughs> think it is? Buddy? <laughs> who, who? I don't know. Do you have a crack crew of fucking nature adventurers and fucking rock climbers also that double as fucking bodybuilders that carried this fucking thing out there and then drove it? 10 feet into the ground. That's all I'm saying, buddy. Yeah, and they said the type of machinery that you would need to use to drill into the rock, like, they don't know how a human would be able to dig it, to get in there with it. And look at this thing, man. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's in there. And like, uh, the, the pilots, I was reading that, like, they, they pointed out that this is the only crack in the canyon for like a very like a very expansive distance either direction and it's the tri the point of the triangle of the monolith is pointed directly at the crack so i don't know that yeah, I, it's a, I don't know that that means anything but it's just fucking weird right yeah it's certainly weird it's certainly uh i, I would say yeah there's some uh this cause for uh cause for concern i, w- I want to know what people got to the bottom of this but see, here's the problem I have with the way they've handled this situation already is they're already like threatening people because you can't just put this kind of shit up on uh, public lands like this. You got to ask for permits and things. So like they're already threatening whomever put that there. So now, much like Jetpack Man that we've talked about a few times that uh, is going up and down near LAX, you're never going to get the answer because you're already threatening them with some sort of legal action. Uh, here at the end of the article, it says uh, DPS said it is illegal to install in structures of art without authorization on federally managed lands, no matter what planet you're from. So not only are you now threatening the possible human person who installed this thing, now you're also threatening aliens. Kind of fucking... You don't threaten extraterrestrials that are able to put 15-foot monoliths 10 feet into the ground into a fucking public land. You don't do that. You're handling this wrong. Why do we hire these people? Yeah, so you're saying you don't want to scare them away with threats. You don't want to scare away aliens. 
because they're no, listening to our airwaves? Possibly. Now <laughs> you're 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 putting up a threatening stance. You're showing your teeth. You don't do that. You're looking at them in the eyes. You don't do that either. Mm-hmm. And, and if you want humans who have accomplished an amazing feat, you know, if we have remote areas of the world where we want to play something, maybe don't threaten the people that figured out how to get to a remote area of the world to play something and say, hey, listen, we don't like people doing this, but we'd love to know how you pulled it off. Just do that. Can't we like use some niceties in a situation like this? Sure. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but I, maybe they want to deter certain actions from happening in the future, but I get it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's people though, right? Mm. No. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? We'll never know because now no people are going to come forward to say I did this. So now I have to assume aliens. There's no other choice. <laughs> so no one's going to fess up to it. You, Wes, specifically shows us shipping manifests, uh, heavy equipment oh. rentals, uh, right. all of that stuff. I, yeah, I'm going to have to resort to aliens. The, yeah, right. The burden of proof is in my court now to prove it was, it was humans, not extraterrestrials. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Gotcha.